I got my four comics that I'm going to be sending out to PGX to get graded. So if you want to find out what they are and what grades I'm predicting, stay tuned. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I am going to be showing you the four comics I will be sending out to PGX to get graded. Uh, one of the reasons, especially if you're new, if you don't know about this, one of the reasons why I send them to PGX is, number one, uh, they are the cheapest. Number two, I've never had a problem with them. But number three, and most important, is um, about a year, year and a half ago, I actually made a deal with PGX. I called them up spoke to the owner and said, you know, is there a possibility if I do an advertisement for you, um, could I get some graded comics done? And it was one of my cats. So they allow me to get four comics graded a month, and that includes any um, era of the comics, whether they're modern, all the way down to golden age. I get free pressings, dry cleanings. I also get signature verifications, and that's why you will see a 10-second ad on the beginning of this video. Now, one of the benefits I want to make sure for my um, for my subscribers is if you look in the description, if you send 10 books in to get graded, and there's one of my other cats, they seem to want to walk in front of the camera and said anywhere else, um, there is a code where you can get a free comic pressing on one of the comics if you send in 10 or more with the code that's provided in the link. So I want to make sure there was a benefit for you guys as well. So, I will be soon having an update because um, I've been in communications with Daniel Patterson, the owner of PGX, and um, I actually gave him some ideas of mine for his new labels. Um, he showed me a prototype, looks really good, and I'll explain a little bit, um, not in this video, but in a future video, so I'm looking forward to that because the changes are really going to make it look that much better. So... You guys are here for the comics, so that's what we're going to show. These are the four books I am going to be getting graded. Usually takes about a month, month and a half to get them back. Um, there was some delays because of some problems with their new cases. But I don't care. That's still come back pretty quick. All right, so here's the first one I'm going to be sending out. This is Eternals. And let me zoom in a little bit. Eternals number one. But this is the 30 cent variant. Uh, this is a very rare book, and with the Eternals getting a movie, um, because you didn't see any teasers and they haven't started working on it yet, this is these are still books that are going to be affordable for now. They're going up in price. I was telling people a couple years ago to get these. But if you can ever find one that has the 30 cent variant, pick it up. Um, when I bought this, it was pretty expensive. Now it's like triple what I paid for it almost. Um, I paid... $310.95 for this book. I see it now selling for seven, eight hundred dollars And that's before you see anything about the movie being discussed yet. So there's still time if you can grab it. But if you can find it for under 500 in good condition, trust me when I say, pick it up. Now, obviously, it's not 100% guaranteed because, of course, they haven't made them yet. They haven't made the movies yet, and we don't know if they're good. So always keep that in mind if you're going to invest. Now, this one's definitely going to need a pressing and dry cleaning. Um, it does have a, co not a color break increase there. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, there were a couple of comics I had on an upper shelf, and as I was packing them, um, a couple of them fell. So it damaged some of the corners, but not anywhere where there's color breaks. So a pressing is going to help. Um, I was a little upset about that, but it was my fault. So, I mean, sometimes it happens. But luckily, it didn't do too much damage. could have been worse. So... I'm going to predict roughly about a 7.5 to 8.5 for this book. Um, hopefully the damage didn't do anything more, but I guess I'll find out. But white pages, definitely uh, a newer book, so pages are going to be nice and clean. Overall presents pretty well. And the corner, oh, it would help if I put it in the camera. The corner doesn't look really bad. I think this is one of them that kind of escaped major damage. A few of my comics got damaged in the corners, which is kind of disappointing. All right, next one. This one I can't wait to get graded, and this is going to be one of the reasons why PGX is definitely one of the companies to use. I mean, obviously, everybody has a preference. There are some that is going to hate them no matter what. I don't deal with those people. But this is Wolverine Origins number 9. 
Uh, this was originally being sold, I think, either for two ninety five or three ninety five. It's got so many different sketches and signatures. It's got Herb Tremp, the uh, sketch and signature, Len Ween. It's also got Joe Casada, Steve Dillon, Dan Way, and Dan Kemp. So a total of six signatures and one sketch. I ended up contacting the person. They didn't have a best offer or anything, but I always tell people, don't be afraid to ask for deals. The worst they can do is ignore you or say no. And even if they say no a hundred times, and then the hundred and first somebody says yes, you know, you made it happen. So I made that happen and only paid with shipping and handling $206.50 for this book. And considering two of the people on this have passed away, you can't get the signatures anymore. And usually I've seen a lot of Herb Tremp sketches. It's just kind of like a little mini drawing. This is probably one of the better ones that um, he put on. So I'm looking forward to getting this one graded. Now, they said it's about a 9.0. So I'm going to go with 8.5 to 9.2. We'll see what happens because there's like a minor little color break there. And my cats, yeah, most people said they haven't seen my cats in a while. <laughs> and here we go. So that Oregon is being a ham. So like I said, I'm going to say about 8.5 to 9.2. Again, white pages because this is a newer book. So that shouldn't be a problem. All right, now we're going to go from new books to older books. This is another one of those good stories. This is showcase number eight. This is the second Silver Age appearance of Flash, second Barry Allen, I believe. And um, first, what is it? Um, Captain Frost? Captain Cold, I'm sorry. Um, the cover is detached, so the highest grade it can get is a two point oh actually a 3.0 um got a lot of color break increases a little bit missing in the corner here a little tear right there so a little tear right here so this is obviously a lower grade there's a little bit of a split right here a lot of color break increases so this is an older book but still some books are worth a lot of money even in lower grades but um he had this for about nine hundred dollars which is not bad, even for that grade, considering the comic. And if they DC continues to make their movies in the right direction, Flash would be a good one to go next. But we'll see what happens. But um, I asked for a discount. They weren't sure about it. I was really nice with the responses. And they said, you know what, we're going to give it to you anyway for the price that you wanted. So this was a person from Canada. So it was uh, a little different as far as the prices because they were doing it in Canadian dollars. But it ultimately came out to $634.09 for this book. And I'll say it's between a 1.8 and a 2.5 range with off-white, uh, cream to off-white pages. So this is another book that definitely, especially in lower grade, getting these books slabbed will absolutely protect them a lot better than these bags and boards. All right, last but not least, um, I was trying to get this book for years way too expensive or way too low a grade or I would keep getting outbid because one of the things I say when I make a bid and I have a uh, video teaching my my eBay um, tips and secrets so check that out in the playlist but I always bid to a certain amount and if it goes over that I refuse to to go into one of those bidding wars based on emotion because that's how you overspend so I will say all right this is the amount I'm willing to spend if I lose well I'll just wait for another opportunity and for years, I kept losing, or the prices were just a lot higher than I was willing to pay. A um, couple of weeks ago, you saw me get a graded book. A couple of days after, I got the second one. I could not believe I got two in the same week when it took me years to get the first one. This is Action Comics 242. This is the first appearance of Brainiac. This is an incredibly hard book to get in high grade because of that deep, Purple shows all the ticks, all the nooks and crannies. Uh, but overall, this presents really well. The only major defect is on the back. From about here across is missing, which means there might have been tape and it pulled off that part. So it's about maybe almost an inch thick and goes from about here all the way across is gone. But, I mean, it's just a small little strip, so it's not like a quarter of the page is missing or anything like that. 
But again, this is still going to be a lower grade. Um, I paid $665.40 for this book, which is actually a pretty good price for this comic. Um, I want to see Brainiac in a, Mar in, a, in a Marvel movie. That would be hard. Uh, in a DC movie, he would be a great villain. And the way they portrayed him in that um, DC video game that just came out about a year ago or two years ago, um, especially with those tentacles they used, almost like Dr. Octopus style. The the actor that did his voice and the way they portrayed him really made me like this character. And um, this is a definitely a must-have, in my opinion. This is a DC grail. Uh, minor grail, obviously, when you compare a lot of the DC characters, like First Appearance of Superman, but definitely a book to get. So I'm going to predict about a 2.0 to a 2.5 cream to off white pages and um these are books i cannot wait to get back and again lower grades are great to preserve keeps them safe and secure so whatever great whatever grading company you use hopefully you'll get the great grades for whatever books you send in um let me show the books again action comics 242 predicting a 2.0 2.5 cream to off white pages showcase number eight which is the um, second appearance of the Silver Age Flash and the first Captain Cold. Uh, I'm going to predict roughly about a 1.8 to a 2.5, creamed off white pages. Next up, Wolverine Origins with a plethora of signatures and a, and a bonus sketch, predicting roughly about an 8.5 to a 9.2 with white pages. And last but not least, the Eternals number one, 30 cent variant, roughly about a 7.5 to an 8.5 with white pages so that's my story and i'm sticking to it hopefully you appreciated this video if you did thumbs up are always welcome and appreciated and if you've seen all the way to the end before it make sure you see the today surprise subscriber shout out um i give those in all these type of videos where you see the intro in the video if you want one of those just hit subscribe and uh, we'd love it if you hit the um like button so if you wait until the end, make sure in the comment section you post who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Give them your little shout out of your own. And also mention what this is. And this is a tuning fork. Love these things. So write that down in the comment section. Let me know you're one of my power viewers. So thanks for watching. Uh, this should come back in about a month and a half or so. I have some other books that are on their way back. There's actually eight comics coming back, so they're starting to get back on track. Always good to see. And uh, don't forget, not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.